NBC 15 News starts now. Hello and thank you for joining NBC 15 News on the web. I'm Christine Belport. Here are the stories we're following for you today. Madison Mayor Paul Soglin is expected to address the media at a press conference at 11 this morning regarding the ruling that no charges will be filed against Madison police officer Matt Kenny in the shooting death of 19-year-old Tony Robinson. Meantime, a Madison police captain is warning city leaders they've received threats from reliable sources. Gang members plan violent attacks against police. Officers. Now, this was an email provided as well to the Associated Press. The warning was first emailed to Madison City Council members yesterday, shortly after Dane County DA Ismail Ozan's announcement. Now, the family of Tony Robinson says while a decision has been made, the fight is not over. His mother said she's not surprised by yesterday's decision and she will be exploring other legal options. They thought that this battle was over. What they did not realize in the night that they took my son from me is that I am not the type to be defeated. And I am not but just beginning to be to fight. Amen. Well, she also added she does not believe the investigation was thorough enough. Well, oh, taking a real turn here. It is one of the area's most popular attractions, and now Wollersheim Winery is being named Small Winery of the Year. The winery received the award at the 2015 Riverside International Wine Competition out in California. Wollersheim Winery's Dry Riesling took home the gold. Prairie Fumé, White Riesling, and Prairie Blush all took silver. By the way, it bears mentioning the sister winery, Cedar Creek in Cedarburg, also won silver medals for a few whites, including their Pinot Grigio. Those are the stories we're following for you today.